Welcome inside the State Champ Studios for another edition of Hockey Time. I'm Jonathan Kidd along with Sean Belize and Sean. Happy New Year. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done this, Johnny. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to everybody out there. And uh, let's get back to the rink. We're going to be at the rink a lot the next few weeks. Looking forward to it. State Champs Hockey Time is presented by our friends at the Alta Equipment Company. And we have a big announcement just coming up. Pretty cool. Looking forward to this. We've been able to study a lot and how you can study it at home as well. But first, we want to update you on Sean Belegian's top 25 rankings. You can see it at statechampsnetwork.com. Sean, who has cracked the top 25 now? Well, you know, it's it's interesting. This is a, a good problem to have, um, but it's miserable on me. It's tough to get a top 25. It, it just is. And I, I think there are certain areas when you're doing the rankings like this. You could make an argument for this team to be ranked, that team to be ranked, this team to be there, that team to be there, and everything. But we do the best we can. Um, you know, For me, John, you know this. This is like a two-day process for me, mm -hmm. You know, kind of looking at scores and, and things like that. But got to give props to a couple different teams. I think Jackson Lumen Christie is a team that, you know, um, when you knock off a team, uh, the caliber of GRCC, I think that tells people all you need to know uh, they jump into the rankings. They have a four-game winning streak. Grozeal is a team that we had them on for a bit last year. They've got a seven game winning streak. They are at 10 and one. Big uh, overtime win over Ann Arbor Father gave her shard over the weekend. Absolutely. Um, you know what? And, and when you keep winning like that, and that's what they've done the last couple of years, they've done a heck of a lot of winning. You have to give them credit. The top 10 is very difficult. Yeah. And, and again, I'm, I'm going to say that's a good problem to have because I could look at any number of teams probably in the top 15 and say, this team deserves to be in the top 10. This team deserves to be in the top 10. I, I try to go with the teams that are maybe playing a little hotter at the time. That's that's the, the tendency that I, I, I try to have. Um, you know, we talked up Trenton very early in the year, and, and I saw a lot of their players in the summer, and they have gotten off to a fantastic start. I have them at number four. Uh, Byron Center still unbeaten. Uh, obviously, they had a tie, but that counts as unbeaten. Houghton hasn't lost yet. And the gold standard, Catholic Central is number one. Yeah, we one. can't forget about them. Catholic Central is number one until they're not number one is the best way that I can say it. Um, they, they've been the gold standard in the state for quite some time. Uh, had two nice wins to start out 2024 over Gross Point South and Orchard Lake St. Mary's. And that's a darn good Orchard Lake St. Mary's team. So it's it's a lot of fun to do this. And, uh, you know, it, it varies as we do it every couple of weeks. And you can see those rankings at our website at statechampsnetwork.com. All right, it's time now to reveal the matchups for the MIHL Prep Hockey Showcase in Trenton. These games will be happening in early February. How cool is that? Uh, we, we can't thank the great folks from this great showcase enough for giving us this honor. I mean, right, John, this is an honor. I mean, looking at these matchups and letting people know out there, thank you very much. I mean, Coach Clements, uh, uh, Coach Knighting, everybody involved, thank you very much for this. John, uh, there are so many dandies on here. Yeah. Every year, this is like, like I, I was joking to you the other day, it's it's like waiting for Christmas yeah. morning, you know? Ooh, what what goodies do we have in the, in the stocking? You know what I love, if I may, I, I love what is our top three? We talked about our rankings, right? Our top three in the state is Catholic Central, Holton, and Byron Center. And you know what we see over the course of the weekend? Catholic Central taken on Holton, Catholic Central taken on Byron Center. It doesn't get any bigger than that. The host team, Trenton, absolutely love that they're taking on Marquette. That is a fantastic matchup, one that I think a lot of people are going to want to stick around for uh, the night game as well. Bay Reps and Brighton is another one that jumps out to me. Those are those are two darn good teams. Powers U of D. I could sit here yeah. and go on forever yeah. and ever, John. Just fantastic games up and down the slate. All right, so the matchups for the games on Thursday are on your screen. So, Sean, what games stick out to you on this one? You know what? I, I like uh, Richard and Forest Hill Central. I, I think those are those are two teams that are going to go at it 7.30 at night. Lakeland and Saginaw Heritage is another one. You know, J.J. Bamberger is another one of those guys. As the season progresses, he gets his team to play better and better and better every year. Lakeland is ranked for a reason. Salem and Alpena. Salem's been playing better lately. Alpena, this young team, you know, they've been taking their lumps, but there's a heck of a lot of talent there. 
I could break down every game, so we better keep moving along. Yes, yeah, so we'll go to the games on Friday, and there's a lot of dandies on this one. So, Sean, lead the way. Now, Bay reps in Heartland, I, I think, jumps out to me. Uh, no doubt about that. How about uh, De La Salle and St. Ignatius? I think that's a fantastic test for a Pilots team that is, is, is you know, really heading in the right direction. Early in the morning, how you met Bay City, you know? I mean, there, there, there are so many intriguing storylines with that. You know, I mentioned it, the nightcappers in the Feldman Arena, Catholic Central, Houghton. I mean, the world stopped when those two got together last year. CC won that one. Trenton Marquette, that should be an absolute beaut. The nightcap, if you will, at Feldman Arena. And on Saturday, you know, some great ones again. And Sean, you know, Brother Rice and Clarkson at the night. Love it. That, that's, a, that's a great way to end it. Heartland de La Salle, that, that's the other night cap at, at, at the other arena. I like Hancock and Stevenson. I think a lot of people are intrigued at what Hancock's about. You know, I've said it before. Hancock's back. They, they are back. But that's a good test. That's a good young Stevenson team that is playing the right way. So I think that's an opportunity for the Hancock Bulldogs to say how far they've come. Uh, really looking forward to that one. TC Central Country Day is another one. John, uh, just just a fantastic. Hey, how about the Sioux and Gabriel Richard? Yeah. You know, I, I think that's a darn good matchup. Blue Devils were this close to making our rankings. So um, there's something for everybody at this showcase, and I'm serious when I say this. The hospitality down in Trenton, Fig Newton shout out, is second to none. I mean, honestly, the way they take care of everybody is second to none. So hopefully we get a chance to see y'all down there. And I like how the fact that we have some out-of-state teams, they always come every year. Could this be down the road, maybe some Minnesota teams making the trip I to would, the MIHL prep? I would love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, I will say this until I'm blue in the face. I wish that we would have more of these showcases. I wish that we would have like the Minnesota model uh, type of situation. But um, hey, you know what? They're doing their part. You know, we, obviously, Johnny, we, we were out in Livonia. Uh, we're, we're planning to be up in Traverse City. We'll be in Trenton. Hopefully, we can get out to the public uh, out there a, as well in Chelsea. Um, hey, it looks good on all of you to have these kind of showcases, and uh, we're going to do our best to get out to every one of them. And we're going to be making an announcement in the next week or two. We're going to be streaming a couple of those games, so stay tuned. I have a feeling. I, I there, there were a few that when we were talking amongst ourselves, we kind of put the circle around, but uh, we'll wait and see. No, looking forward to it. Hey, it's just a fun day, Johnny, when you can run between three rinks and get a chance to see high-caliber MHSAA action. It's time now for our Warrior Hockey Player of the Year update. Sean has the gloves on. We're going to be making a change in the top 10. Lane Petit from Brighton and Clay Spencer from Detroit Country Day is going on to the top 10. Yeah, I, to me, two guys that absolutely deserve it. Look, I, I've had more people than you can shake a stick at talk up Lane. I, I mean, really, for his whole career, I think he's, he's having a phenomenal year again right now. I've seen him multiple times and I mean no disrespect a, a couple different times he stood out like a sore thumb best player on the ice type of stuff Clay Spencer is a guy that you know again I, I think people know about this guy and people know about DCD I, I've said it once I'll say it a thousand times and coach Novak is one of the best in the state and and when these names came up it was kind of a no-brainer and you could see the guys in our committee shake their heads. So, uh, John, there's probably going to be more changes. There's always a moving day around the time of these showcases because that's what these showcases are for. It showcases, you know, not only what your team is doing, but individual players. And so uh, don't be surprised if a shakeup or three doesn't come down the pipe. You can vote for Lane and Clay at our website at statechampsnetwork.com. And that was our Warrior Hockey Player of the Year update.
Attention, State Champs Nation. Applications are being accepted right now for the Detroit Athletic Club Foundation's Male and Female Michigan High School Athlete of the Year Awards. If you are a recognized first-team All-State athlete in a sport or projected to be one this school year, if you have at least an overall 3.0 GPA, and if you have demonstrated leadership through the school or as a community volunteer, we want you to apply. Six male and six female student-athletes will be nominated and each awarded $1,000 towards college expenses. The winners will receive $5,000 each. The 27th Athlete of the Year Awards will take place at the Detroit Athletic Club the evening of Monday, June 3rd and streamed live on the State Champs Sports Network. Nomination applications will be accepted through Friday, March 31st and this is important. You cannot be nominated if you do not apply. Download the application today at DACAthleteoftheyear.com That's DACAthleteoftheyear.com And it's time now for our Warrior Hockey Wall Award update, and Sean has the gloves on. No changes to the top 10 this week, but we saw a couple goalies this past weekend. We had the battle between Jack Miller and Noah Miklos. You know, Trent won that game 4-2, to two, and we also saw Brady Swanson for Byron Center in that 3-3 tie against the Bay Rock. Yeah, you know what? And, and again, John, much like we were talking about with the Player of the Year, you go to a lot of these showcases, and it gives an opportunity, especially a goaltender, to stand on his head and, and to show everybody out there, whether it be the, the average fan, whether it be guys on our committee, what they can do. Expect some changes right now, but right now we feel pretty good about this list, but uh, don't don't sleep on this list very long. I have a feeling it's going to change. You can cast your vote for the top 10 at our website at statechampsnetwork.com. And that was our Wall Award update brought to you by our friends at Warrior Hockey. We have a showcase going on this weekend out in Traverse City, and State Champs is going to make the trip. Yeah, looking forward to it. This is something that we've been talking about for months, really, starting Thursday, going through Saturday. Last game, as a matter of fact, is 7 o'clock on Saturday night, TC West in Granville. But, John, like so many of these showcases, it, you know, literally plucking teams from all over the state, really looking forward to it. And State Champs is going to live stream three of the games, so Sean, reveal what games we're going to do. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Two highly ranked teams, the Bay Reps uh, taking on Marquette. Uh, it's funny, I had a chance to talk to Coach Garrow up in Marquette. He said that there is going to be a watch party, John. On. True story, a watch party at a, at a pub up there called Third Base, so shout out to all of them. TC West and Forest Hill Central, I think that's a very intriguing matchup. Forest Hill Central, they've kind of been a mainstay in our rankings. And then how about this one? Uh, the legend, Coach Givens and TC Central taking on Upstart Howell. That's going to finish it. That's our, our noon game on Saturday, Johnny. So uh, three dandies up there, but the good news for guys like you and I, we get to run between the rinks when we're not working and, and, and watch some great MHSAA hockey. You can watch those three games on our YouTube page and also on MHSA.TV. So it's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. All right, it's time now for our Coach's Corner, brought to you by our friends at the Michigan High School Hockey Coaches Association. I am joined today by the head coach at the Bay Reps, Mike Matushi. Mike, welcome to Hockey Time. Uh, thanks, Jonathan. Pleasure to be here. We just announced on Hockey Time that State Champs is coming to Traverse City this weekend for the North-South Showcase. Just talk about this great event that we're coming to this weekend. It's an awesome tournament. We have 24 teams coming, a lot of hockey uh, over a three-day period. We run the tournaments. It's basically in honor of Rick Denoweth, uh, one of the founding members of the Bay Reps, who passed away. I believe it was, I believe it's like six or seven years ago now. Yeah, Rick was a, an amazing me member of the community. Um, did a lot for for the community, and you know, was I've, like I said earlier, helped start this program. So, Rick's wife Connie will be there. Um, Rick's two sons both played for our team. So, uh, it's a big thing for the Denoweth family for sure. And just talk about the Bay Reps. How did it all came about and what schools exist to make up the Bay Reps? 
25 years ago, there were some players from Sutton's Bay. And that's the story that, that I've been told anyway. They, they approached their athletic director about uh, wanting to play high school hockey. And uh, their athletic director contacted the athletic director at St. Francis High School in Traverse City, who had kids who were interested. And, and that's basically how it got started. So this year, um, it, it changes year to year, which schools we have involved. This year, primarily, most of our kids come from St. Francis, a uh, small private school in Traverse City. We have 16 players from there. Uh, we have one player, actually, sorry, two players from Elk Rapids on our team this year. Um, one player from Charlevoix and one player from Lakes, Lake City. And uh, there's another small private school in Traverse City, um, TC Christian. We have one player from there on our team. And just talk about this year's team and especially Grant Lucas. Grant is in our Hockey Player of the Year, the top 10. Just talk about your team and how special Grant is on your team. Yeah, Grant is uh, is a very, very talented, very dedicated player. Works hard. He put in a lot of work this offseason, uh, preparing for this season. You know, he, he's been great for us for, for this is his third year now with us. Um, but, uh, you know, Something about the preparation that he put in this summer to get ready, get ready for this year. He's uh, off to a really hot start. Not only do, you know, I got to give Grant a lot of credit, but uh, the guys he's playing with. We have five seniors on our team that uh, were a part of a team that went to a state uh, championship in Bantam AA. Um, and they're, they're all big members of that team. And, and they're all, they've all been with us for three years, uh, minus one who's only been for two. But... Um, they're all very key to our program. We have Grant Lucas, Thomas Boynton Fisher, Ethan Coleman, Ryan Lannon, Larson Miller. So all five of those guys are just huge for our team. Let's talk again about the showcase. You guys are going to be playing Marquette on Friday and East Grand Rapids. Just talk about your opponents you'll be playing this weekend. Two great opponents, really respect Marquette's program, Doug Garrow uh, up in Marquette. We usually make a trip up there every year. This year we weren't able to make it, so it was nice to uh, be able to fit them in uh, in the North South Showcase and, and play them down here. Really looking forward to playing that team. And also playing East Grand Rapids, you know, following their coach too. He's an amazing coach down there. He's done a great job with those kids. What they did last year in the playoffs was uh, tremendous. We played them in the quarterfinals, and they were they were amazing. Best best team we played the, the entire year, and uh, for them to beat Houghton in the in the semifinal, that was that was pretty cool. So, um, really respect that program. Also, really looking forward to playing them. And just lastly, how cool is it that state champs, myself, Sean Belich, and Mike Ivasil, and the rest of our team, is going to make this trip? the stream, the games this weekend and showcasing Traverse City hockey and, and of course the other teams across the state. You know, talking about Rick Denoa who this tournament is named after, he had really, you know, great ideas for this program and wanted to see it grow and get big and to have you guys come up here. It's it's an honor for us to have you guys here to cover, cover this tournament. Rick would be really proud of it. Um, and also to see the caliber of teams coming up for this tournament too. It's uh, turned into quite an event and uh, I know the uh, local people, the locals who uh, follow hockey are really looking forward to seeing some good hockey this weekend. Thank you very much, Mike, for taking the time here on Hockey Time and look forward to seeing you guys this weekend. And that was our Coaches Corner brought to you by our friends at the Michigan High School Hockey Coaches Association. So, Sean, we got some great hockey ahead this weekend. We're going to be in Traverse City. And don't forget, we got the Max Showcase on Monday. Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, going to be a busy, busy weekend. Looking forward to seeing so many old friends up there. And we'll see you at the rink. State Champs Hockey Time is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Be curious, make magic. The future of education begins at ltu.edu. State Champs Hockey Time is also presented by Alta Equipment, Michigan's number one construction equipment provider, proudly representing the industry's top brands. Get the right equipment for your project every time with Alta Equipment. Warrior Hockey is proud to support Michigan High School Hockey Player and Goalie of the Year awards. Warrior Hockey is made for this. The Michigan High School Hockey Coaches Association, celebrating the 50th anniversary of high school hockey in Michigan. 
for schedule, scores, and standings, go to the hub, mihshockeyhub.com. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. And Michigan Army National Guard, proud sponsor of the Michigan High School Athletic Association.